Babylon Brook. Babylon Brook. That's me. I just had to start that video over because I just had like a 10 minute intro. <laughs> Gosh, I'm annoying. I'm trying to give myself less to have to worry about editing. <sighs> okay, hi. <laughs> We're gonna unbox this. So this was something that I ordered as an add-on. It's the satin scrunchies and holy moly, you guys, six piece set of scrunchies. And I think I got this for like two bucks. Okay, whipped coconut makeup remover. This is also one that I've added on because I'm out of the, uh, the cleansing balm. So I was willing to try something new. I like the look of this brand leaving your skincare to undo the damage. That's cool. So I guess they're saying that it's hydrating. Oil-based whipped coconut cream melts away makeup as it moisturizes, plumps, softens, and evens your complexion. I do love a good coconut base. I really like the packaging. Regenerative neck cream, seaweed, amino acids, and copper peptides by Earth, Earth Harbor. Inspired by smooth sea crystals on a crystal clear day. Well, smooth fine lines and wrinkles, brightening a clouded complexion. That, yes. Yes, ma'am. Look at that whipped top. I'm really trying to do exercises to get rid of this because every time I edit, it's all I see. I'm like, people are unsubscribing because of my neck. <laughs> Damaging thoughts I have. I'm not pretty enough. That's why my YouTube is so slow. It's growing. I'm old and ugly. <laughs> Those thoughts are usually hormonal and go away. You guys, don't do that to yourself. Don't talk to yourself the way I do sometimes to myself because it's not right. Oh, that feels so nice. You know what I do with these types of things? I keep them next to the bed. So that way I remember to use them. Ooh, yes, ma'am. This was an add-on, but it was so cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks, which makes it about 50% off. This is Mac Soar and this is my go-to. Like I use Soar for the longest time, S-O-A-R. It's one of the best kind of like, it's almost like a rose too, like a brown rose. Can you see that at all? Yeah, pretty, isn't it? These are little add-ons. They're the pearl huggy hoops. I don't really wear a lot of jewelry. I'm sure you've noticed, but all of my little influencer women that I follow and watch on YouTube always have like the cutest jewelry and then they always have like jewelry collection collabs. <laughs> I would be the last person to do that because I don't wear a lot of jewelry, but uh, I love, I do love jewelry and I feel like I'm starting to kind of come into a new time era of myself where I want to be someone who wears more, especially on my ears, jewelry. These are so cute. I think they are going to look adorable on. I might keep them in this package and wait until I do go get my ears pierced because I actually want to do that soon. We have the Wander Beauty Skyliner Duo Automatic Gel Eyeliner Set. We have a black and a brown, it looks like. So I just swatched this next to the Soar, but it's a like copper brown and then a smoky black. We have the Il Maquillage Color Boss Master Palette. I'm trying to make it so you could see it. Look at that packaging. They, they've got it down when it comes to the packaging and the palettes. I love this silvery, heavy, metallic palette case. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be my autumn palette, my go-to. Let's swatch. Ooh, okay, it feels good. It feels fresh. <laughs> Dunning! God, I can't swatch! <laughs> I can't bend that way. It won't focus. Okay, I need to swatch somewhere else. I do it there, because that's where I see it, but not for you guys. You see that? Oh my gosh, It's <laughs> that's where my cousin bit me. A little bratty cousin bit me when we were kids. He told me I can play with his toy and then I took it to go play with it. And then he was like, give it back. And I was like, no, he bit me. Uh, look at that. Those are really pretty. Ooh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to play with that palette. But look at the freaking cover. It's covered in fingerprints. Volition Naoli Complete Cream. Neroli, not aioli. <laughs> That's the sauce that goes on french fries and burgers. So with vitamin C and vegan collagen. Okay, what? <laughs> What's this mean? Target the, the T-zone and wrinkles together. A cult favorite cream because age-defying combination skin have never been so addressed in one formula. Combination skin, that's not me. I'm not combination at all. Will I like this? I also have a problem with like anti-aging stuff. I tend to like not respond well to it. Feels nice. I'll give it a week. 
I have like normal dry sensitive skin, so I have to be really wary of what I use. Flawless, forget the filler, filler lip plumping, line smoothing gloss packaging box. It's kind of cool. I just I'll use my hand. Frosted glass, always a win in my book, and a rose gold lid. Ooh, oh, okay, look at that. The doe foot is humongous. <laughs> it's huge. It reminds me of the Dior live oils. Mmm. Oh, okay. I love the applicator. It like hugs your lip. I really like it. I really wreck it. Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Perfume Oil in Rose. They're these little tiny, frag like mini fragrances. It smells straight up like a rose bush. Oh, I'm so excited. I really like this. This smells so nice. It was probably, I'm gonna guess $12 or less. I'm not sure how much this was as an add-on, but it's very nice. We have the NARS Air Matte Lip Color. Uh, Dragon Girl is one of their staple lip colors. It's a beautiful red and I have it in the pencil So I knew that having it in a liquid lip was going to be uh, a good thing to add to my reds my reds collection So it's gonna be it's gonna be stunning. I already know it. So it's this really beautiful It's weird when you first apply it. It looks kind of like a cool purple red and then it dries to what looks warmer But it's just neutral it really is just a neutral red so pretty. Here's the last thing. Let me make sure that's the last thing. Hopefully the last thing is a good one. Natasha Denona Aloe Cheek Duo. Another really shiny palette. You know, I am in the market for a new bronzer. I've been using the same Marc Jacobs one and the NARS cream based one for like over a year now. So I really think it's time for me to try to find a new favorite. So I'm excited to have something different. It looks really, really dark, but you know how bronzers are, they blend out. Let's see how this highlight will look on me. A really nice, warm highlight. Very bronzy, very good for this time of year with all of our tans. All right, so that is the Ipsy and we're gonna discuss skincare. So let's move on to the skincare portion of this video. I just went and put on the lipstick for this portion of the video because I think it'd be kind of fun to change it up a little bit very pretty indeed okay let's talk skincare so i did have uh some questions recently about what skincare i'm using and what foundation i'm using and i just wanted to share that here take everything i'm saying as this is what i'm using for myself personally and it's not a recommendation to you because we all have different skin types so i can recommend a brand and i can recommend products i use for my skin if you have more oily skin or whatever you're gonna want to adjust accordingly to your skin type. Skincare brands I have worked for is Mario Badescu, Clinique, and then when I worked with Smashbox, I also would have to work with Glam Glow. Glam Glow, I feel like I'm actually still kind of learning the products, but Clinique, I know through and through, I've been through so much training with them. You know, in order to even get the white coat and then the C, you have to go through a lot of training and get like levels of training. So I'm like, I think the like top tier <laughs> considered training. I was one of the boutique managers. So let's just start off by saying, I wash my face every single night. I do not skip. I don't care how I feel. I don't care if I'm too tired. I don't feel back when I used to drink even, honestly, if I was like three glasses in and exhausted, I would go wash my face because I just can't stand the feeling of makeup on my face at night when I'm sleeping. To me, it's the most important part that goes hand in hand with being a cosmetics wearer. So wash your face, wash your makeup off and get it all off, get it good. <laughs> get in there with a Q-tip and get the eyeliner crust out of your eyes. So the first thing I would do is take any cleansing balm I'm using at the moment. I switch them up. This one I'm excited to give it a try. I really like the packaging of it and to me that's also important. I don't like really ugly packaging because I leave my skincare out and so that way I can see it because I use it every day. After I've done that, I don't rinse it away. I take a warm clean face halo, wipe everything around my face off and I get under here really good and down my neck too. That is step one. Step two is I go in with a gentle cleanser. Right now I'm using Herbivore's Pink Cloud Cream Jelly Cleanser and I'm almost out. What will I buy next? What will I buy next? I will either order an add-on through 
Ipsy so I can try something new or I'll just rebuy this because I really do like it. It doesn't have a fragrance. It's really cute and sleek. It's pink. It's this like pearly pink color so it's pretty. I like the way it looks. Herbivore is a great brand. Are these Seattle based? I would totally rebuy this. It's fantastic. I like a really lightweight cleanser to just kind of suds up a little bit and then cleanse away the balm and the makeup residue. Since I am normal dry, I don't need to use a really heavy duty toner every day. So I will either go in with a light one or a heavy one, dependent on how my skin feels. I can just feel when my skin feels a little bit overloaded. I can tell when the oils feel heavier. I can just feel it. I just like it. My skin feels like it needs a good deep clean. I would usually take this, the Clinique Clarifying Lotion 2. I would use this on a cotton pad or a cotton round. I especially do this when I've worn a lot of makeup that day. So if I did a really heavy full coverage, a lot of bronzer, a lot of powder, a lot, you know, if I really did a beat face, then I would definitely do this at the end of the day to make sure that I've gotten everything out of my pores. But if I just did like a BB cream that day and my skin still feels pretty dewy and healthy, really light, or I didn't really wear much, and I just wanna do a little quick cleanse of something gentle. This Rose Clarifying Cleanser by Georgette Klinger. This was, <laughs> we got a stage four Klinger. This was an Ipsy thing that I got and I really like it, the Rose Clarifying Toner. So this is really lightweight. So if you have really sensitive skin or don't like using toners, I feel like they're stripping your skin of oils or anything like that, then you would love this. But you can also, if you like Clinique and you wanna go buy the whole package, they make even a lighter one than the two. The lighter it goes in number, so if it's like a one or a two, it's like sensitive to dry. And then if you're a three or a four, you're going up more towards the oilier side. If my skin is feeling a little bit hormonal and really built up, I can feel it. I start seeing pimples. I start noticing little breakouts. And that's when I know I need to just take a break. So that night, I don't use anything on my face whatsoever. And I know that sounds hard because some people are like, I cannot not do lotion, but I skip it. I skip any product even for a dry skin girl. So then I would use this. This is Tarte's Knockout Tingling Treatment. This says exfoliate, balance, minimize appearance of pores. I know people who are really oily and very acne prone that have used this and said it cleared their skin up. I'm not gonna make those promises to you because I don't speak from that. I don't have that experience myself. It's just what I've heard out of the mouth of somebody who worked for Tarte and that was their skin and I worked with her. So she wasn't selling it to me. I overheard her saying it to her coworker. So it wasn't like she was trying to sell it. She was just saying, dang, this stuff really worked for me. It really cleared up my skin. I just know that when my face has little pimples coming in and it feels completely like built up underneath my skin and my pores just feel so dirty. If I use this, it actually does tingle. It feels like hydrogen peroxide kind of feel. I just leave that and I go to bed. And when, when I wake up, I feel like it resets my skin so that you can go back to using whatever products that you want to use. If I have a pimple that's the size of a volcano, then that's when I'll actually take these little fruities. This is a fruit extract blemish sticker. Holy moly, <laughs> these are so handy. But these little stickers, you peel off the sticker and pop it over the pimple, go to sleep, wake up, take the sticker off, and it flakes away. But it's really handy. And I did forget a cleanser, I forgot one. This one I keep in my shower, that's why I forgot it. But it's the Grown Alchemist. It doesn't really matter what one you use, but just using a nice fine polishing exfoliant is to me something that's good to do like once a week if you have my skin type. If you have oilier skin, you might get away with doing this a few more times a week, a couple more times a week. But it just has really fine granules. This is the Polishing Facial Pink Grapefruit. I like the way the packaging looks and it smells, it smells hippie. You know what I mean? It has that like sandalwood patchouli kind of thing smell to it, which I love. But I love it and I just do this once a week whenever I feel like I need to just exfoliate the dead skin off my face because to me too, that's a huge part in how your foundation is going to lay is that if you have all the dead skin removed from your face because that will pill. So if you're ever noticing like your makeup and your foundation is pilling really bad in your t-zone especially it's usually because you just need to do a little exfoliating and get some of that skin away or the product is pilling that happens too but right now this is the serum that i'm using it's by drunk elephant it's the power peptide resurf serum and i really do like this a lot because for me being dry this feels more like a oil base it like goes on and feels like a dry oil it's so bizarre and i really like the feel of it lactic acid and peptides it's a serum that i can use it doesn't 
constantly make my face do weird things or feel weird. So yeah, I just really like this a lot, but if I were to say my favorite brand as far as serums, and my favorite serum hands down in the entire world is the Good Jeans. The Good Jeans by Sunday Riley is 100% my favorite. It's a little expensive. I got it in an Ipsy. <laughs> they got me on a Glam Bag X bag. And that alone was worth like 70 something dollars. So that was a good Glam Bag X because you got like so much. I ended up buying it again and then I got serums in my Glam Bag X. So I was like, eh, I'll probably pause buying serums until I don't, I've gone through what I have. I try not to like have too many products all at once because then I'll start opening them and then they'll go bad. And then I, this, all these products not being used. I don't like to waste them. So I use this all the way. It's like empty. So it is actually time for me to order a new serum. And if I do that, I'll probably just go order the good jeans and a little Sunday Riley order. Anything Sunday Riley makes, I'm obsessed. Like I love it. The other thing I have of theirs, which looks like I've had it forever, it's disgusting, is the Luna Sunday Riley Sleeping Oil. This stuff is great. I use this, like, again, maybe once every other week. It reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles, fighting the signs of premature aging and surface redness. It's a blue therapy retinol. For a retinol, it's one that I can use. It's a little bit more on the lightweight side. It doesn't mess with my skin too much. Sometimes retinols really screw me up. So I have to be careful. Works throughout the night to deliver youthful looking luminous even toned skin in the morning. I just love the feel of it. Um, it's got this really cool green color to it. But then when it goes into your skin, it goes on like a nice oil and I press it into the skin until it's completely soaked in. And that's all I use. I won't use any other moisturizer or anything like that. Use this by itself and I'll do that like once every couple of weeks whenever I'm thinking about it. So this has lasted me a really long time actually. As far as moisturizers are concerned, I switch that up as well. Right now I'm using a First Aid Beauty one. I don't have a favorite face moisturizer. I don't. I've used so many and after I'm done with them, I'm like, I'm over that one. I'm ready for a new one. So I don't have a go-to favorite. I switch it up every time I run out of whatever pr product I'm using. I've used a Sunday Riley one. I think it's called the CEO. I did really like it, but I just didn't feel like it was as hydrating. And I want my moisturizer at night, the night cream to feel like heavy duty. I really want it to feel like a mask on my face almost. So that's where masks actually do come in. There's a few different types of sleeping masks right now. What I have is the Avant Shea Butter Rice age radiant sleeping mask so you put this on at night after you've done your cleansing routine or this is the dr brent hydrobiotic sleeping mask and then there's another one that comes in a green bottle and i'm forgetting the name of the brand oh it's on the tip of my tongue it's the best smelling one too and i've gone i thought that's what this was but this is a, a mask you rinse anyway that's a really good one too when i think of it i'll put it up here but that's a great one too. So I love a sleeping mask when I'm feeling really dry. So instead of doing my normal moisturizer skincare serums, I leave my skin clean and then I just put the mask over top of it and I go to sleep. And then the other thing is, is I have a basket of masks. So I use these all the time. It's fun to just grab when you want something. I have tons of sheet masks. I really like the 111 skin ones. Is that how you say that? 111 skin, I don't know. These are really nice. They're the Four Sigmatic mask packet. So you just mix these with water and you work them into your skin. I also have a couple of lush ones in the refrigerator. I like this one a lot for a peel mask when you just need to like peel off. Like you almost feel like you just need to peel a layer of dead skin off. This really, really gets you. The Aceology Brightening Treatment Mask. Again, I love this like toothpaste packaging style. And then for eye mask, I have a few. I have the Dior Eye Reviver Patches, which I'm hoarding because I love them so much. This is the Sweet Dreams Collagen Glow. I have like, oh my gosh, I have five pair of these under eye masks. And then also the Skin Generation Revitalizing, Revitalizing Hyaluronic Acid Eye Patches. And these are like those kind of like jelly, jelly ones with the liquid on them. So there's a lot of different options, but masks are fun. I feel like I don't do them enough. I feel like I need to like up my mask game and try to have like mask Sunday. Like if I make it a day, I'll remember to do it. <laughs> And then actually I do use these as well. The Tan Lux Face Self Tan Drop. I just put two drops of this in whatever moisturizer I'm doing if it's a day that I've used self tan and it just maintains the face tan. And it's a really nice subtle face tan. It's not you wake up and you look like an Oompa Loompa. Like it's 
really subtle. So I love that and that you can use as many drops as you need so you can gauge how tan you want your face to be. So for me, two to three is the perfect amount to keep my face matching my body when I'm tan. Just really quickly, you guys, this is the last thing I wanna say. I feel like this is the longest video ever, but it's so hard to talk about this stuff and it not be long and just like bleh, you know, like really long-winded. Somebody recently asked me what foundation I'm currently using and actually I've switched, but I am using, for the most part, the Airbrushed Flawless by Charlotte Tilbury. I really like the look of this. It makes your skin look really airbrushed, really. This is BB cream today. That's what I have on right now. It's just a simple Neutrogena BB cream. When I really wanna do a full face of makeup, this looks great. And lately I've just been wanting dewier skin, so I'll either do a BB cream, or if I'm going out and I want dewy skin, I use the Dior Skin Glow. That's my favorite. That is it. So I hope that was helpful to you if you were wondering what skincare to use. Like I said, our skin is all different, so it's hard to say perfectly what's meant for you. I like Sunday Riley as a brand. I think right now I would say it's with my favorite skincare brand. So if you're looking for, or Drunk Elephant, or Glow Recipe, or herbivore all of them are great brands so just find something by those brands that you trust and that you know are good and then use the products by these brands that you love i hope this was helpful to you and if you have any questions feel free to ask but thanks so much for watching subscribe if you're not a subscriber already and i'll see you on the next video